We got a special guest today, Ella the dog. Come on. <laughs> this video is on why people smack themselves and slap themselves so much in C-Lab. So stay tuned. It's going to be crazy. You're not going to be able to handle it. Pow, pow. Inside. Inside fighting. Yeah. Dangerous. Dangerous martial arts. So I want to jump into some of the things you see people do in C-Lat and I'm going to go over all the points of the body that you can smack and a lot of C-Lat people, this was a big part of Kung Tao C-Lat training for me, is you'll see a lot of like this type of stuff, right? And if you do it fast, it looks weird and people are like, what is this guy doing, right? And it's part of the martial arts system. A lot of people don't know why. There's a lot of reasons behind why this is part of the training. Okay, it's actually pretty cool. So, first one I'm gonna get out the way is how to do the smacks, and then we'll jump into why you do it. So, points of contact. You have your backhand over here. You have your forearm, which you're essentially smacking your forearm as you punch, right? You have your elbows. You have your bicep. Okay, and then back to the forearm, back to the elbows, backhand, and the cross -up. So, there you go. And you also have a hammer. Right? You have your little hammer fist. So that's it. If you put it together, you just tap it how you want. And as you get faster at it, you can really turn it into this kind of stuff here. Right? Okay. So what are we actually doing? So every time you smack your body, the first thing, the really simple thing that you're doing is actually conditioning both your smack to get stronger. And you're also conditioning that part of your body that you're smacking. In other words, your knuckles actually get tougher, your backhand gets tougher, your forearm gets tougher. And if you feel it, even when you're training, like, you feel it? Yeah. So you're, I'm actually smacking that hard when I smack myself. You can see how strong my yeah. smack is. Just from here, you feel how heavy that is? Yeah. So you're learning how to get a really heavy smack and also how to condition it. Why is that important? Because when he punches at me, I can have a strong smack. Or if I block with my forearm, let's say here in a fight, for whatever reason, this has to be strong. If he throws a hard punch, a haymaker, or throw a haymaker with a wide loop, and I check, this part of my body has to be strong to protect it. Okay? And if your body's not conditioned, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt real bad. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, could you say it's also part of, like, um, coordination? Yeah. Of course, this is part of coordination. I'm going to jump into that next, though. Why are you jumping ahead, bro? I'm just saying. I just think I thought about it. <laughs> Point number two. Okay, so this is actually, I love right here, needs a little close up. Shh, let's try and get her. <laughs> no free time right now, love for it. Anyway, so point number two is not exactly coordination, but kind of coordination. Uh, it's learning how to gunt. What is gunting? Gunting is that when he punches at me, I can parry and then I can counter, right? And a lot of martial arts is how they work. You're one and then two, right? But they don't go, Bam, at the same time. So this is going to, I'm attacking the limb that's attacking me. And again, where can I attack? I can attack the ribs. Not exactly the limb that's attacking me, but it's a stop the hit. It's happening at the exact same time. I can hit the armpit. No. I can hit the bicep. That hurts. No. I can hit the tricep. I can also hit the elbow. So like, if he's punching at me and I'm far away, I can go bam, catch it right here. And I'll go horizontal and catch it right here. Now, if you look at the motion I'm actually doing, is I'm parrying and hitting at the same time. If I were to continue that motion, this is what that motion would be. So I'm learning how to parry and hit at the same time. So when he punches, boom. I'm learning how to hit my elbow when he punches, boom. Vertical, boom. And it actually works from boom, boom. You continue those motions. So even when I'm doing my trapping, this, it's teaching me from here how to break this. It's teaching me how to break this. So what am I doing? I'm learning. It's okay, bro. sit down. I'm learning how to grip whatever I'm also hitting. So if I come in here and I want to elbow him, bam. What am I doing? Taking my hand, putting it to my elbow. Bam. Take my hand, putting it to my elbow. And that's what this drill actually is. Okay, so those are the, the two fundamental reasons. Uh, I'm going to show a quick drill for it just so we have some. So first point of contact, just if you want to train it, parry, elbow, or horizontal elbow. That's your first pack. Next one, parry punch. You hit the tricep, I mean the bicep, the tricep, 
or the ribs. And that's pretty much, and you can also do it on the inside. Keep punches, I can punch with this oh, one. So I can carry on the inside here too, and then keep going. And off of this motion, I will show you, because I wanted to show this anyway, the most uh, fundamental entrance that I learned in Kung Tao Silat. So we're going to have to move over here because my dog is taking up the space. So he's going to throw a punch. I'm going to parry, check, hit this hand down as I grab. Now I'm in the inside. If you look, I opened up his whole body. I'm going to take my hand and feed it to my elbow. Okay, and here I'm protected. One more time. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, now a little bit faster. Ooh. Okay, that's how fast it happens. So what am I doing? One more time. Parry, check. I'm protected here. What am I worried about? I'm worried about this. So I'm preemptively bringing it down and out the way. I have my grip, feed it to my elbow. Boom, boom, boom. And it's all based off of that same kind of motion. All this stuff makes you good at that. Makes you very good at kind of like these boom, boom, boom motions. Stepping out here, here. All that stuff that I always do, attacking the bicep right here. And that leads, by the way, in this MC lot, that leads to all my takedowns. <laughs> right? Because what am I doing? I'm getting a grip here. I could not take it down here, but once I get to here, now I'm learning to feed in. I might take down here. I would step on my lean and I would take them down. So it's very, very effective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's about to get crazy! It's about to get crazy here! Oh my god!